What's going on Diablo 2 fans? My name is Dabrunski and today I'm bringing you another episode from the Human Bot Project series. Today we're going to be farming high runes in Travinkle. We're going to run Trav 1000 times and I'm going to show you guys the results. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's take a look at what we found. The drops start off pretty quickly into this 1000 run project. On run 13 I drop my first unique. It's a monarch which is Storm Shield. Followed by my first unique ring five runs later. It rolled Raven Frost. My first mid rune drops from the High Council on run number 86. My first pull rune. A really nice magic jewel drops about 20 runs later. It's a 38% enhanced damage, 8 to strength, magic jewel. Two more midrunes drop on Travinkle run 128 and run 158. A pull rune and a mal rune. A unique ring drops as well. It's my second Raven Frost. Another notable unique drops 18 runs later. A pair of unique war boots, which are Gore Riders. I find my first facet just two runs later. It rolls a 4 3 die fire facet. Two nice small charms drop on run 292 and run 367. A 3 to max damage, 18 to attack rating small charm, and a 7% magic find, 2 to attack rating small charm. A really nice grand charm drops about 60 runs later. It rolls 9 to max damage, 69 to attack rating, and 26 to life. Another mid rune from the High Council on Travinkle run 495. My third pull rune. I find an Assassin Skiller 50 runs later. It rolls 1 to Shadow Disciplines with 40% extra gold find. It took 600 runs for Travinkle to drop me a high rune. My first high rune from Trav on run 600 is a jaw rune. Followed by my first lem rune 27 runs later. Another decent unique drop from Trav on run 700. A unique swirling crystal which is the oculus. Followed by my second facet 55 runs later. It rolled 3 5 die cold. My fourth pull rune drops from Travinkle on run 846. Followed by a very nice small charm just 3 runs later. A plain 5 to all resistances small charm. A relatively rare unique Paladin Shield drops off the High Council on run 880. It's Elma Nejra. Unfortunately, it only rolled 1 to Paladin skills. Another Lemrune drops almost 100 runs later. It's my last Midrune drop, marking a total of 7 Midrunes from Travinkle in 1000 runs. My last noteworthy piece of jewelry drops with 3 runs left of this 1000 runs project. It's a unique amulet and it's High Lord's Wrath. A pretty rare drop. So I completed all 1000 Travinkle runs with 100% magic find. 
My focus with these runs was high rune farming, so my priority was just maximizing clear speed and damage, and I wasn't too worried about stacking magic sign. Any uniques that dropped along the way were pretty much just a bonus. I also ran Travancle on player's 3 difficulty because it is pretty much the universally agreed upon player's difficulty setting for being the most efficient for high rune farming. I also ran Travancle with the Blizzork in an Infinity Merc and I'll be posting a future build video on this character so make sure you guys look out for that one. Overall honestly I was pretty happy with the results, 7 mid runes, 2 facets and 1 high rune is a pretty good haul considering I've gone more than 1000 lower Kurost runs between high runes before and these runs were also far more enjoyable than mind numbing lower Kurost. Well guys, there you have it. That's another human bot project series in the book. Really hope you guys enjoyed this one. These runs were actually really enjoyable for me. Uh, Travancle is a blast to farm. It's way more enjoyable than Lower Kuras. But guys, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you could throw a thumbs up on it uh, and consider subscribing if you're new to my YouTube channel, that would be amazing. I just wanted to say thank you so much for the support, guys. It does mean a lot. And if you made it all the way to the end of this video, leave a comment section below on the next location that you would like to see for the next human bot project series because the most votes i guess or you know if i get 10 pit votes and it's the most select area then that will be my next human bot project video and i wanted to leave that up to you guys because uh, you guys have been watching these videos for a long time so i figured heck why not you guys pick the next location but thanks so much guys support means a lot and i'll see you later